What's up, everybody? Welcome back and happy, happy new year! year. If you're new around here, my name is Molly. I am Isaac. And we are the West Coasters. We're glad you found us. We make videos going all around the LA area, trying amazing food, looking for great experiences. And today, we thought we would just take a moment to pause and reflect. So 2022 has been the first full calendar year we've lived in Los Angeles. It's also the first full calendar year of our YouTube channel. 2022 was full of amazing eating experiences for us here in LA. So we thought it would be really fun to just take a moment and pause and reflect on all of them and come up with our favorite foods of 2022 in LA. As we count down this top 10 list, if anything interests you, we're gonna have full video links in the description below. We're so excited to share this list with you, but make sure to stay till the end so you can find out our number one pick for food here in LA, but also a special surprise honorable mention that we just had to include on this list. If you like these kind of videos and you're curious about what the food and culture and event scene is like in Los Angeles, make sure to give us a thumbs up and hit the red subscribe button to stay up to date for any future uploads. And we do have some amazing plans for 2023, especially when it comes to the food scene here. We really wanna double down on some amazing casual and street eats here in LA. So make sure you're subscribed for that. 2022 in Los Angeles was awesome for us. We ate our way all around the greater Los Angeles area from cheap eats, street food, to theme parks, to food festivals. And this is our top 10 list. So coming in at number 10, Jollibee Chicken Joy. There are Jollibees all over the world, but believe it or not, our first time even trying Jollibee was here in LA in 2022. I don't know if we knew to expect what, what was coming our way, but we loved it. What makes Jollibee Chicken Joy so amazing, their fried chicken, is that it's super juicy and delicious on the inside, but it's really the outside. The breading is light and crispy and just the perfect flavor. And once you dip that Chicken Joy in the gravy, you're in chicken heaven. So we're here at Jollibee, home of the Chicken Joy, and we're gonna try their famous fried chicken. And I know that um, they're really big on gravy, so I'm gonna try it, dipping it in the gravy. Wow. wow. And for number nine, we chose the IPA Sausage Dog from the Food and Wine Festival at Disneyland. It's no secret Disneyland puts on incredible food festivals. They have festival holidays, food and wine festival, Lunar New Year, and they also have just seasonal food as well. I was blown away by this. I think this is the best food I've ever eaten in Disneyland that was savory. Definitely don't miss this when it comes up next year. Pro tip, it goes great with beer, which they do have in DCA, so have at it. It's amazing. I hope they have it again this year. Up first is the IPA Sausage Dog. Let's give it a try. It's gonna be hard to eat. This IPA sausage is amazing. It has a great smoky flavor. I wasn't really expecting that. The pretzel bun's super soft, super buttery with that cheese sauce, fried jalapenos on top. This is my kind of hot dog. I love this thing. Number eight, we have Nona's Empanadas located at the original farmer's market in Los Angeles. Do not discount these little empanadas because they're simple. They may be a really simple concept, but they are packed full of flavor. There are so many to try, and from the couple times we've had them, we've just fallen in love. And they definitely, uh, definitely fit into that cheap eats category, coming in at like five bucks a pop. They're a deal and they are just so delicious. And there's so many different flavors to yes. try. We really like the mushroom, we like the Cuban, but there's no end. I know, and you know, if you want that little extra pro tip, get the dipping sauce. It's like an oil and herb mixture. You dip the empanada into that and chef's kiss. We also grabbed the Cuban empanada. This looks really good. I mean, Cuban sandwiches usually have pork, ham, cheese, pickles, uh, mustard. So I'm excited to see what this version is like. <laughs> It's all of the flavors you love from a Cuban sandwich, but kind of minced together for the filling inside this really perfectly crusted empanada. You cannot go wrong with the Cuban. Make sure to grab this when you come to the Harbor's Market. Coming in at number seven on our list is Leo's Tacos for their Al Pastor. 
So when we first moved to Los Angeles, we knew this was the land of taco trucks. We knew there were so many awesome, delicious things to expect, but we were blown away by Leo's Tacos. At the time that we did our review and our vlog, it was the number one rated taco on Yelp for Los Angeles, and we were not disappointed. It's just a great marinated pork flavor with a little bit of pineapple on top. You cannot go wrong with this. We're back ready to eat off the trunk of the car like we do. It only feels right at an Al Pastor place to start with the Al Pastor taco. So let's get into it. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. There is something special about having fresh Al Pastor meat. And they put really nice big chunks of fresh pineapple in too. It's the perfect combination, salty, sweet, delicious. So the green avocado sauce looked really good to me. So I piled it up with some of that. Let's get into it. This is absolutely everything I want in a taco and more. Truly the best al pastor taco I've ever tasted. This is like opening up a whole new world of taco eating for me. Highly recommend. At number six, we have our only Thai that made the list. This was a super difficult decision. These are two seasonal macarons that come from Disney California Adventure. Tied for number six is the purple sweet potato macaron from DCA Lunar New Year Festival mm -hmm. and the Snickers macaron from the DCA Food and Wine Festival. Now the purple sweet potato and the Snickers macarons were definitely our favorites of the year, but it has to be said that if you're doing the Disney parks, especially during the holidays, don't skip out on their seasonal macarons because Disney has been hitting it out of the park with these. They're usually really big, so shareable if you're in a sharing mood. Sometimes we're not, but we try to share. <laughs> But they, they've been delicious just across the board. You can't go wrong with them. We feel like they're a really great value, bang for your buck, so don't skip out on them. And if you're there for the Lunar New Year or the Food and Wine Festival, keep an eye out for the Purple Sweet Potato and the Snickers Macarons. Also from the Red Dragon Spice Trader, we've got the Mickey Purple Sweet Potato Macaroon. This is a red macaroon filled with purple sweet potato buttercream with creme fraiche center. This is one of the bigger macaroons you'll find at the Disney parks. Can't wait to try it. Let's go. This macaroon is a must grab here. Do not skip this because it's delicate. The flavor is just on point. Mm. The middle of the macaroon is that creme fraiche. It's rich, it's tasty, and it takes a really great macaroon and makes it amazing. They're big, you could even split it with somebody. Like I said before, you gotta get it. Get the purple sweet potato macaroon, you will not be disappointed. We've had so much great food, we really need to get some dessert, so we headed back to the Nuts About Cheese booth and got the Snickers Mickey Macaron. So let's try it out. Holy smoke. Holy smoke. This is so good. It really is like the name suggests Snickers. I mean, it's got chunks of peanuts, caramel, a little bit of almost like a chocolate goose inside with that really delicious macaron cookie that has like almost like a crunch and then it's chewy. This is amazing. This, this might be the best macaron I've ever had in the park. Have to, have to, have to get this one. Our number five pick is the popcorn chicken from Bobo Mofo. Our visit to Bobo Mofo was our very last food video of the year, but it had to get on the list. Uh, that popcorn chicken with a Thai basil dipping sauce was seriously insane. I've never had popcorn chicken like that. It was amazing. We can't wait to get back there. So make sure if you're in the San Gabriel Valley area, check out Bobo Mofo in San Gabriel. Just from looking at the menu, it felt like we couldn't do the whole Bobo Mofo experience without trying their popcorn chicken. I think it's kind of a big deal. And when I saw that it came with this Thai basil sauce, I was instantly sold. So let's get in there. Even just standing here, the smell of the sauce is so stinking good. I gotta try it. Sounds crunchy. Oh, wow. Wow, wow, wow. This is so good. Wow, wow, wow. This is so good. I don't know what I was expecting with this, but I am blown away. This is a flavor explosion. The chicken is so crispy on the outside, soft in the middle, tender, and then the sauce is just one of the tastiest things I've ever tried. When you're ordering the popcorn chicken from Bopo Mofo, you can actually select white meat or dark meat. And we chose dark meat, which I think was the right call because it's so flavorful, juicy, and tender even after being fried. That's crazy good. Um, I'm going to be thinking of those popcorn chicken nuggets in my sleep. Continuing our countdown of top 10 foods we ate this last year in Los Angeles. At number four, we have the potato dog from Two Hands Corn Dogs. 
Two Hands is a Korean corn dog chain with locations all across Los Angeles, and they do incredible flavors. It's not your typical Western corn dog where it's like a hot dog on a stick dipped in corn bread batter and deep fried. This is some really incredible stuff. What they use is they use actually like a yeasted dough and the potato dog specifically has chunks of potatoes all over it. So it's almost like you're eating french fries with your corn dog. And we got it with half sausage and half cheese. It was amazing. If you've never had a Korean corn dog, this is a great place to start. If you've never had a Korean corn dog, you are missing out. Get yourself to a Korean corn dog place immediately. That's a must do. By far, the craziest looking dog we got is the potato dog. What's potatoes, Brussels? Potatoes. This has potato all around the outside of the usual batter, and then on top we've got that kind of tangy, spicy sauce and that kind of spicy Cheetos dust. This thing is huge, it's crazy, and I cannot wait to try it. These are crazy, delicious. I think I'm gonna be wanting this often because it's just this combination of flavors and textures I've really never had before. I get it now. I get what the two hands hype is all about. Warning, it's really messy, but worth it. Isaac had to get a taste too. Oh man, look at that cheese bowl. Look at that cheese bowl. Whoa. <laughs> That potato dog is seriously good. It also has some of that bean curd powder, spicy toppings. I cannot get over how insane this tastes because it's almost like, we got some fries too, but it's almost like you're getting fries stuck to the outside of the corn dog as well. Excellent. Excellent. Our number three pick is Kogi Taqueria. If you've been around our channel for any amount of time, you're probably not surprised that Kogi is not only on the list, but really high up on the list. It's safe to say that we hit Kogi Taqueria more often than any other eatery here in LA because they have this fantastic fleet of trucks that works its way around LA. Simply put, the Korean flavors fused with a street taco style. It's just about the best thing ever. And I'm never not in the mood for Kogi. So hit up Kogi, it's the best. Oh, and special shout out to our friends, Eric and Steph, for introducing us to the miraculous world of Kogi Taqueria. You guys are the best. All right, we're back to our quest to find the best cheap eats in LA, and that has brought us to Kogi Taqueria. Kogi is a mainstay of street food and cheap eats here in LA, so let's get into the food. Kogi's known best for their street tacos. They do this amazing like fusion of Korean flavors and Mexican street tacos. So we wanted to start with chicken. Let's give it a try. That's a strong start. The chicken taco is delicious. The chicken is marinated in this sweet and tangy Korean sauce. And then you've got this delicious tangy and spicy slaw on top. It's got like lettuce and I think cabbage, really fresh but a lot of meat packed in too. So thumbs up on the chicken. I got the short rib taco. It looks amazing. It's a little bit more expensive than the other three tacos because it's more of a premium cut of meat. Let's give it a try. That was fantastic. It was so good. It's almost like a Korean style galbi, which is uh, the short rib, the beef that's been marinated and grilled. This is fantastic. It's so good. One of the coolest things about Kogi is that their trucks are sticker bombed. So if you ever visit a Kogi truck and you have stickers, you can slap it on the truck. We have bombed a couple of the trucks with our stickers because we can't get enough of their flavors. We visit them often. If you would like a free sticker from us, shoot us an email with your address to coastersandcoasters at gmail.com. It's our old channel. We haven't gotten an email yet. Send us your address in an email and we will get a couple stickers and a handwritten note sent out to you. Thanks so much for watching and all of your support. Woohoo! We're getting to the end. Our top two drum roll. The number two meal we ate this past year in Los Angeles in 2022 was the Worker Wednesday plate from Park's Finest Barbecue in historic Filipino town, Los Angeles. I'm not afraid to admit that this has been my favorite meal of the year. Uh, the combination of options on one plate, all the smoked meats, that coconut beef, it's like this kind of coconutty, spicy, almost curryish sauce 
with beef. I mean, it's just all mm. of those flavors are just mind blowing. It's also just such a special place. The owners, their journey to where they've gotten is incredible. Park's Finest is one of those other places that we bring friends and family to constantly because it never disappoints. And it's just a really unique eating experience fusing uh, traditional Filipino flavors and American pit style barbecue into one perfect flavor experience. Oh my goodness. So you have the Worker Wednesday. So we found out they have a Worker Wednesday special for only 15 bucks. We had to get it. It is only available on Wednesdays and it offers coconut beef, hot link medley, pulled pork, candy coated chicken, a veggie medley, cornbread and rice all together on a plate. This thing looks so huge. This is, I, I am looking at this and I already know like if you're super, super hungry, you could eat all this, but it's definitely shareable. And if you get one side with it, it's gonna be enough food for two people. Let's give it a try. The first thing I wanted to try on this plate was the coconut beef. Let's give it a taste. This is amazing. This really reminds me of like a curry type flavor. It's this super tender beef, it's fall apart, and it's in this delicious coconut sauce that is really well spiced. Well, we've made it to number one, and our number one pick, our favorite food of 2022 was Tire Shop Taqueria. Tire Shop Taqueria is located in South Central Los Angeles, and it is without a doubt the best taqueria we visited in 2022. It was insane. Their asada is so good. Their chorizo was so good. It was, you know, chorizos can sometimes be fatty and greasy. This was like light and really well seasoned and flavorful. It was fantastic. It was also the first mulita I've ever had in my life, which I feel like it was just mind blowing, game changing for me. It was so delicious. If you are in the neighborhood, you cannot skip this place. It is a Los Angeles mainstay and their food is incredible. Absolutely. And the thing that put it over the top for me was those handmade corn tortillas. The flavor and the texture that that adds to your taco experience is just insane. Um, and I think that it would be almost wrong to not have our number one spot be a taco joint. I mean, I feel like we low-key moved to LA for the tacos. Well, let's see, let's see. The first thing we're gonna be trying from the Tire Shop Taqueria is the Asada taco. It looks amazing. They got a lot of nice onions and cilantro, salsa and guacamole. Let's give it a taste. That is so good. The asada is so, um, it's really tender and it's really, really well flavored. Salsa that's in there has got a great, great zing to it. I like it a lot. The tortilla is amazing. They hand make all their tortillas. You can't miss this one. One of the things I heard you have to try at Tire Shop Taqueria is their vampiro. What they do is they take their handmade tortillas and leave them on the grill for extra time and they kind of start to curl up and get crusty. And then they put in the asada and the rest of the toppings that you'd expect, the onion, cilantro, their amazing avocado salsa, um, another salsa underneath. So um, it is time to figure out what the vampiro is all about. Let's go. Mm. They melt cheese underneath the asada. So as that tortilla is crisping up on the grill, they have cheese melting at the same time. So you've got these crazy textures, that crispy tortilla underneath, melted cheese, delicious and super flavorful asada meat, just like Isaac said. And then all of the fresh toppings. It's just, it's just amazing. This video is the best things we ate in Los Angeles in 2022, but we definitely had some tasty beverages along the way. Mm. We wanted to do a special shout out and honorable mention for Ohana Brewing Company in Alhambra. They make really delicious beers and specifically they have a matcha pale ale that is completely mind blowing. It looks crazy and it tastes delicious. If you are a person who loves craft beer, you love visiting breweries, you can't skip this place. They really have the coolest flavor combinations. They take a lot of traditionally kind of Asian cuisine flavors and uh, combine that with their traditional beer styles. It's really a unique experience. We love it there. And it's not far from where we live. Oh yeah. Well, we made it to Ahana Brewing here in Alhambra. This is on First Street. They've got some great outdoor seating. We're gonna grab some drinks and give Archie a chance to take a break from all the walking. Let's see what they have on tap. For my second beer, I got the Why Is It Green? 
matcha. This is a blonde ale with matcha tea mixed in. It looks real funky. It almost looks like some swamp water or something, but I love matcha tea. Let's give it a taste. Wow. That's intense. I was talking to the uh, server about this beer and he was saying, yeah, it's got a very intense matcha flavor, but if you like matcha, you're gonna like it. And he was right. This is really good. Very refreshing, but a very strong tea flavor. So if you like matcha tea and you find yourself here at Ohana, you have to try this. Oh, that's, that's, what he that's what he really wants. <laughs> we love sharing our favorite foods, but we're kind of curious what your favorite food of 2022 was. So drop down in the comments, let us know the best thing you ate in 2022. Well, you made it to the end of our video. This was a countdown of our favorite foods in LA. It was kind of a fun top 10 video to put together of everything we ate in 2022. No plans of stopping. Yes, we've eaten some amazing food in 2022, and we can't wait for more in 2023. But until we see you here next time, we just want to say, Cheers! Cheers. Can you say, yeah. Can you say, so without further ado, 